Welcome back to Man on the Beach. I'm here at Port Quinn with Viv. Viv, what does the beach mean to you? Oh, it's the life and soul of Port Quinn. <laughs> Everything happens here. Everybody congregates here. In the summer especially. This time of year it's fairly quiet, which is a good job. With all the boulders flying through the air <laughs> for the last day or two. <laughs> I notice you've been clearing up after the storm here. You're with the National Trust, aren't you? Yes, yes. Sarah from National Trust as well has been helping me. And uh, Melanie's coming down shortly, although I think there won't be anything left for her to do now. We'll, we'll manage between us, so... But uh, we cleared up all the big boulders just to make the road accessible. So well, you were showing me through. just down here. Yeah, let's take the whole fence away and a big uh, over on the left there. That's the top of the pillar of the post, which was like that one. So it went out wider at the bottom and it's taken the whole thing out again. It's probably on the beach somewhere or up the road. I haven't seen it up the road though. So there's a wildness to this beach in, the, in the winter, isn't it? In the winter, yes. I mean, we, it was regular that it goes up and uh, we have stones scattered away, but uh, on, on excessive storms, it's big, big boulders get thrown up and block the road and bits of wall go. Sarah just putting back the uh, life buoy, which uh, came out in the storm last night and got all tangled on the uh, bridge. I've just untangled that and put it away. I hope it will calm down now. Well, I'll let you get <laughs> on. Got one more big tide tonight and tomorrow morning, but it won't be as bad as last night, I don't think. So, it's a magnificent scene out behind out you. Now. Yes. It's going out steadily now. Are you off, Sarah. Bye. Didn't come back with her. Cheerio. <laughs>